so we're back in the workshop after uh, visiting the Millbrook Railroad, and um, yeah, <laughs> there was definitely a casualty that day. Um, this is the part that got the brunt of it. Uh, as you can see, it's got quite a bit of um, damage on it. I've already disassembled it, um, but yeah, it snapped right through this PETG uh, like it was nothing. Um, I guess that's what happens when you put an aluminum angle iron on the front bumper of your locomotive. Um, so, yeah, it definitely got a little destroyed. Um, and <laughs> here's the rest of the parts from that as well. Um, we've got the, uh, wiring. Um, so we've got like a little, this is just a small Arduino-like processor. Um, the back cover, which goes on right here, like that. Um, the battery, which I'm very thankful didn't catch on fire. Um, and then this right here, this holds the processor in place and allows you to access the USB port um, from the side here. Uh, and this is the light, and the solder, this is supposed to be soldered on through the back of the frame. To these two wires and it pulled straight out um, and then all the assorted screws to hold the back on and, and, the, and the processor in place so that is the result of <laughs> that day um, unfortunately I couldn't get my 3d printer to cooperate uh, when I was trying to do the replacement so I had to do the new one in white um, but Maybe I will uh, get the printer to cooperate and get a, another one in this PGG orange color. So that's what happened.